got anything to say? going on everybody welcome to the youtube channel my name is cam this is zay and today we are getting into back to the future part three it's time to finish this trilogy uh we know that previously the doc got into some trouble in his car he got like got struck by lightning or whatever and he, he traveled back uh to i think the time was 1865 if i got it right and we saw in the post credit scene of the movie or the, like the after part of the movie of, of part two that now they're going to be in the wild wild west so that definitely interests me and i'm excited to see where things go yeah, man. I'm super excited, super, uh, super amped up to kind of to get to finish it off and see how it all ends off. Um, and being the 18, what was it, 1865? Is that what you said? I the year? think so. Yes. Be very interesting <laughs> to see this. I'm very curious to see what goes on, what trouble they run into, because it seems like they can't get out of trouble every it's time they travel. It's either 1865 or 1885. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm super excited to get into it. Uh, it's been a blast. The first two movies were, were super fun, um, super enjoyable, super entertaining trilogy. I'm ready to hop into this next one for sure. Can't wait to see how it ends off. Super excited to get into it. Let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's go to the wild, wild west in Back to the Future Part 3. <laughs> Oh, gotta love the score. I'm back from the future. <laughs> this is never gonna end. <laughs> Every time he gets rid of one, another one comes around the corner. Yeah. Doc, Doc. He's like, please. I haven't slept in weeks. I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> Bro, couch Stop. nap hit. Doc's about to wake up, realize that wasn't a dream. <laughs> yeah, he's, oh, it was a terrible dream I was having. Marty came back. Last night's time travel experiment was apparently a complete success, sending the necessary 1.21 gigawatts into the time vehicle, which vanished. But was it a success? Because now <laughs> you've got another Marty. <laughs> yeah, I think it was almost a success. After that, after that, I can't recall what happened. Perhaps the gigawatt was charged, resulting in a condition of momentary amnesia. Indeed, mm. I now recall that moments after the time vehicle disappeared into the future. Oh, you're going to flip the fuck out then when you turn around? <laughs> yeah, you're going to. The future. Hey, Doc. Undoubtedly, this was some sort of a digital ah. image. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, no, not the board, not the board, not the board. Good catch. This can't be happening. You can't be here! It doesn't make sense for you to be here! I refuse to believe that you are here! He's the only one that understands the ramifications of time travel <laughs> gone wrong. Right. <laughs> you, that is the you from 1985, were in the DeLorean and it got struck by lightning and you got sent back to 1885! If the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? You sent me a letter. That's true. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. These timelines are going to get really wonky. Fortunately, the car will never fly again. I set myself up as a blacksmith. Dog out here playing chess with himself. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. 1885. Amazing. I actually end up as a blacksmith in the Old West. It's wild how that kind of works. Like, you write the letter, and you have to wait years for it to actually take effect. But because of time travel, technically, the moment you write the letter, it's going to take effect immediately type of situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, uh -huh. what happened first? Did they... That's what I'm saying. That's why I was like, it's getting wonky. Because I'm like... <laughs> Counterpart, that's me, should have no problem repairing it so that you can drive it back to the future. Do not. I repeat, do not attempt to come back here to get me. I fear that unnecessary time travel only risks further disruption of the space-time continuum. Yep, that's pretty consistent with yeah. your, all versions of you. Yep. They are concerned about that. 
for good reason. All right, according to this, the time vehicle sealed off in a sight. We may have to blast. Sheesh! <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no one's around. <laughs> the cemetery, the cemetery is just in some desolate location. Oh. <laughs> I've been reading my favorite author, Jules Verne. I spent weeks preparing that expedition. I didn't even get this far. Look at this. What is that? That means the time machine must be right through this wall. My gosh. I, I would never go in a mine shaft. Just the fear of it collapsing for some <laughs> odd reason. Right. Like I'd hit something accidentally. There it is. Holy cow. My man wrapped the wheels and everything. Seriously, good condition probably. The lightning bolt shorted out the time circuit control microchip. Unbelievable that this little piece of junk could be such a big problem. I mean, it is part of a time machine, right? Like yeah, like I think <laughs> any piece is important. <laughs> oh, oh she's a little dirty. We gotta give her a wash. Spend my future in the past. Sounds like a wonderful way to spend my retirement. Here. Could you imagine someone's trying to get them? Like someone's trying to get the time machine or something from them, and they're like speeding down the highway with the tow truck or whatever. And they reach 88 miles per hour. And the time <laughs> machine fucking vanishes. This disappears. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fergus, come on, let's go home, boy. Was he did he find something? Come on. Oh. Oh, whoa. That's the doc. Yeah. Doc! Wait, no, he can't know the day he dies. Yeah, right? do not show him that. What's wrong, Marty? Oh, he's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be pissed if he sees that. He's, he's, gonna, gonna, he's so gonna punch. Pissed. He's gonna punch him in the face. Oh, great Scott. Died September seventh, eighteen eighty-five. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> Erected in eternal memory by his beloved Clara. Who the hell is Clara? Marty, please don't stand there. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you for Tannen over a matter of eighty dollars. What kind of a future do you call that? Buford Tannen was a notorious gunman. He was quick on the trigger and bragged that he had killed twelve men. My gosh, now you know how you're gonna fucking die and win. Yeah. Client family. Your relatives? My great grandfather's name was William. Oh. That's him. Good looking guy. It looks that's you, Marty. That's fucking that you. Just, that is just your face. <laughs> Someone edited your face into that picture. Doc, look. Put new tires on the DeLorean. I'm going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. No. <laughs> the space time like... continuum. <laughs> the space time continuum. Yeah, you can't be doing this shit. Let him live also... out his life and then die before he was born. Okay, I think we're about ready. I put gas in the tank. The future clothes are packed. Plus the case, fresh batteries. He's fresh, man. They're both fresh as fuck. Are you joking me right now? You can't Dude, bring Do you know how things? much time you're fucking up by bringing a hoverboard <laughs> to the wild, wild west? I got Nikes, my hoverboard. <laughs> and there's a small cave over there which will be a perfect place to hide the time vehicle. This is just monstrous what they're doing. I think Doc has slowly moved over to Marty's side. He's disregarding the space time continuum. All you have to do is drive the time vehicle directly toward that screen, accelerating 88 miles an hour. Wait a minute, Doc. What if he doesn't reach the fight? That Where's the screen? I'm going to crash into those Indians. Yeah, what if he doesn't? I only hit 85! <laughs> yeah, <my goodness. laughs> They'll instantly be transported Bro. to 1885, and those Indians won't even be there. Imagine, bro. A fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> just a mom Indian taking care of her baby, and then a fucking car just, just fucking comes just... out of nowhere and obliterates them. <laughs> Doc is cherry picking his arguments on the space time continuum. I don't think he's hitting the eight. <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> he said it wouldn't be there. Oh, you're fucked, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, fucking... Bro. 
How do they not like stop in their tracks and freak out and at look at that like that just spawned out of nowhere, yo? Could you imagine <laughs> just minding your business and that's just a, a DeLorean pops up in front of you? Okay, this is really fucking cool to see a car chase with a it bunch is. of horses, like oh, and people on horseback. This is so fucking shot. This is. Yeah. Go under there. Go back cave, up. Back the cave, up. the cave, the cave, the cave, the cave, yeah. the cave. Oh, they're Ooh. blind. Well, they don't have rear view mirrors, I say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. You got you got rid of one group of people on horseback. Get the cavalry! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Uh oh, no. Ah! Oh, fuck that! Oh, fuck that! Oh, fuck that! Go! That's his car now! <laughs> you gotta give that shit up! Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Go. go, go, go. Get the fuck out of there. Go, 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 go. No, go, not go, the boots, go, go, not the boots. He's like, that's right. <laughs> Don't come back. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thanks, oh my. Oh lord, please. Mom. Mom, is that you? You've been asleep for nearly six hours. That's the actress that plays his mom. Nightmare. Oh gosh, oh, are we gonna get another situation you. with like his mother's mother or some You're shit? You're awfully like cute. That? You're awfully cute. Marty, <laughs> Marty come here. <laughs> You're safe and sound here now at the McFly Farm. McFly Farm. Oh gosh. That's oh, all. Look at the look. Oh. I'm not one to pry into a man's personal affairs, but at like. Strangely looks horrible and very good at the same time. I know, yeah. I like <laughs> can't tell if I want to vomit. I <laughs> see that if I want to try, but yeah. Would you like some water? Uh, yeah. Uh, if that's water, I'll pass. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. You pee, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hill Valley. Oh boy, here we okay. go. Woo! Look at that. Oh, they got a festival. So, what is Doctor Brown? He's a he's a blacksmith, right? Yes. It's a good thing he's not a blacksmith, though. In this time, <laughs> <He'd> be getting <laughs> he would not he would not last long in this town. <laughs> no. Yep. Yep, that's the, that's yep. the, uh, like, what, the town hall or whatever, the... Yeah. You better make a name for yourself. Must have got that shirt off on the dead Chinese. <laughs> oh, yeah, shut up over there. Bro, you missed that thing so many times. <laughs> Ice water. <laughs> yeah, you're not doing very good for yourself right now. Yeah. We pour whiskey. Oh. You walked into. What the fuck? I'm sorry. That's whiskey, or is that some sort of acid? And <laughs> <laughs> Oh please no. Oh jeez. What's your name? Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I'd say he's the run of the litter. Hey now, boy. Oh my god, bro. He always comes across these oh. goofuses. I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen him? Oh. Yeah, he's the guy who kills him. You mad dog Tannen. Yep. <laughs> Everyone said, oh my god, he said it. <laughs> I Yo. hate that name. Nobody calls me mad dog. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Yo, he did! He fucking, he's moonwalked! He moonwalks? Out. Yeah, put some MJ on. Oh, he's singing. <laughs> what the shit is happening? Hit the hee-hee. No way. Oh!
I'll run, run, away. He's out of bullets. He's out of bullets. He's out of bullets. Yo, that shit's nasty, bro. That was absolutely vile. <laughs> that, whole, that whole scene was like wild. <laughs> Go, make a run for it. Oh, they're gonna lasso your ass, bro. You're fucking screwed. You're done, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're done for. You're done for, my guy. They all yeah, got it. Yeah. Yeah, what did you think was good? Get ready, yep, you're going for the ride of Oh your life. my lord. Is there any way to get out of that situation? Ooh. Oh, oh. Ooh. Hot time we had a hang yeah. Um, what? Uh-oh. Hold on. What oh. do you do? Yo, Blacksmith better come in clutch right now. Jeez. The fact that oh, here we go. Oh, oh wow, is... yo. Are we in Borderlands? That's like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, that thing is sick. Seven. Yeah. The way I figure it, blacksmith, you owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. That's the eighty dollars. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't shot that horse! Well, that's your problem, Tannen! Wrong! You better be looking behind you when you walk! Cause one day you're gonna get a bullet in your back! Well, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. But he's actually this is, very this accurate. Is the, this is the classic, classic example of a grandfather paradox. Because guess what happens if he prevents that from happening? Then there would be no reason for him to go back. To and, ever go back. And prevent so, it from happening. So that's it, why I hate time travel. <laughs> <laughs> let's just stay linear. Let's not. Let's not go back. Let's not do loop de loops well, we're and too all deep this. In it now. Yeah. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? You. Yeah. My view for Tannen over yeah. a matter of eighty dollars. Yeah. Oh, September seventh. Yeah. Okay. At I'm pretty sure every fucking rule in time travel has been broken who's so this far. Beloved <laughs> this trilogy. I don't know anyone named Clara. Literally. <laughs> it's like... Do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when you came in? Oh, yes, quite so. Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. Oh. Marty, it's impossible. The idea that I can fall in love at first sight? There's no scientific rationale for that. Ah, come on, Doc. It's not science. There was no scientific rationale for a lot of things that science figured out later on. It's true. I mean, we could give our eyes off each other. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my God, yeah. I <laughs> totally forgot about that. Well, gasoline. We can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. So what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Try it, Marty. I wonder how they got that shit without the fucking bear killing them. <laughs> yeah, right. More gas! Or had or oh, mm, you said more gas and or bring it into town. People probably looking like, but what are you dragging into your garage? <laughs> It'll take me a month to rebuild it. Great, fantastic. It's shot on Monday. No, I know, I know. We'll wait until winter when the lake freezes over. But you're gonna get shot on Monday. Monday. Is winter tomorrow? No, it won't run under its own power. We know we can't pull it. Okay. But. What? What is it? Figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles. Okay, you've lost it. Yeah, you're insane. <laughs> oh. I still don't think that thing is going to go 88 miles per hour, right? How fast Just... did she go? Why, well, I've had her up to 55 myself. Yeah, I see. Well, you think it's possible to get it up to 90? Theoretically speaking, could it be done? If you had a straight stretch of track with a level grade, and you weren't hauling no cars behind you. Uh-huh. You could get the fire hot mm -hmm. enough. It might be possible to get her up that fast. Okay, so we, we have an out. We have a way. Uh, yeah. As long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine, We'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge is completed. 
Doc, that's a big if. Doc, that's a big if. <laughs> because Yo. if we don't, we plummet We're to our death. Dead. Just jump. You'll be fine. Bro, what? What is? I've always wanted going? to be on a horse going that fast. That'd be so fucking Just fun, dude. Getting to whip the the reins, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just being on the horse, it's like moving at top speed. Just... That was my all my belongings. Was in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you saved me. Oh, oh. Oh, is that Claire? That's... Yeah, but that's um. That, that's the mom from Step Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Clayton. Clara Clayton. Wow, she looks so young. I can take care of her. You've done more than enough already. But it's really no trouble. Doc, she says it's fine. We gotta get going. Ma'am. <laughs> He's like, shut up, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll straighten everything out. That would be very gentlemanly of you, Mr. Brown. Aww. He's so happy. I'm almost glad that snake spooked those horses. Otherwise, we might never have met. Aww. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for everything. You're quite welcome. And I'm sorry about your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a local scientist. A, a, a blacksmith. Astronomy? Chemistry? Actually, I'm a student of all sciences. Hey, Doc. You gotta get... She set you up, bro. You should have just been like, yeah. chemistry. <laughs> chemistry? Yep. That one. Right there. <laughs> chemistry. And I can tell right now, we have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Oh, that would have been great. He's got Marty over here. Come on, Doc. I want to go. Can you shut up back there? <laughs> Clayton almost ended up at the bottom of Clayton Ravie. Clayton Ravie. Holy shit. <laughs> they say she fell in there a hundred years ago. A hundred years ago? <laughs> we all have teachers we like to see fall into the ravine. <laughs> what? I may have seriously altered history. Doc. So she's oh. not dead. She was supposed to be dead. But when you're supposed to be dead, that's fine. You can choose <laughs> that's fine. That. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. It's Clara. Quick, come with the lawyer. Emmett. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come here, Doc. What is, what is that? Why, what is she having that? This is quite Big a case she's been carrying around. Well, I... Oh, you don't know? I mean, it's gotta be obvious. A gun? A clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> so she can capture anybody with her name. Shut up. <laughs> I got it. This is a clarinet. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> my right fellas <laughs> well let's have a look at it i think a lens may be out of alignment ah hmm classical clarinet <laughs> of course <laughs> but if you turn it the other way Ooh. Ooh. spicy <clears throat> <clears throat> Marty, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Just fucking... Dream of having you work on my telescope during such an important occasion. <laughs> Snaps his finger, Marty falls through the floor to a trap hole. <laughs> He's like... Of course, the festival. Well, in that case, I'll see you. <laughs> Look at Marty's face. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, are you shitting me right now? Look, he's so mad. Thank you for taking care of my telescope. You're quite welcome. He's gonna use that as a bat if you don't move, Marty. Boom! 
Oh, okay. Um, hold on. I thought the, yep. the whole thing was on. exploding. <laughs> fireworks and wooden scat. It's just another Marty coming through in a DeLorean. <laughs> Ready, gentlemen? Okay, so they just don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> no, they're like, document this whole shit. <laughs> 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 They know how to get down. Yeah. Oh, find Clara. There she is. Oh, there she is. Ooh. Would you care to, to uh... I love <laughs> She ain't talking about dancing. She ain't. She's like. She's about like, take me home now. <laughs> He's like, wait. <laughs> this is the type of dance that Cam and I would do together in a club. <laughs> what we're doing here, not what they're doing together. <laughs> no, right, they're doing together. No. <laughs> oh. Son. Hey. Bro, I'd be like, hit me with that pistol one more time. <laughs> Feel smooth. That's the way you do. <laughs> okay, take that gun out of his hand right fucking. I would have been like, so we gonna take this right back here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, right to the heart. Oh. Oh! Aimbot? Oh! Any? Oh yeah. Damn. Yeah, let him know. There he is, Buford. Dancing with that piece of calico. What are you gonna do, boss? Oh, I promise you, right now, my guy. I promise you, messing with Doc is one thing. Messing with his girl, you're gonna mm -hmm. find a Tesla coil up your ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be sent back in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To fucking the dinosaur age. Like, you're gonna yeah. be fucking. I told you to watch your back, Smithy. Is that a gun on my back? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> he said, What is this? <laughs> I'd like a dance. I wouldn't give you that pleasure. You'll just have to go ahead and shoot. Hey. No, Emmett, I'll dance with him. Emmett, Boy, dance keep the blacksmith company while I get acquainted with him. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Ew. No. Fuck him up, Doc. They always do that too, and like these type, they make him some outlandish freaking. Oh, look at this vile. <laughs> You're gonna fucking make him throw your goons and then come for you. Oh, oh. damn! Oh, uh uh. You fucked up. I damn you to hell! <laughs> Right now, jerk. Oh, <laughs> He's like, what the fuck did he just say to me? I have a gun. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yell up. Oh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you don't call me. <laughs> yellow belly. Oh, you just triggered him. Nobody calls me yellow. I'll be back this way on Monday. In front of the palace alone. Oh, now it's not Doc. Now it's you, Marty. <laughs> yeah. I do my killing before breakfast. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like for you to have this brand new Colt Peacemaker and gun belt. Free of charge. Oh, my lord. I want everybody to know that the gun that shot Buford Tannen was a Colt Peacemaker. Hey, hey, no problem. Thanks. Okay, he just found a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> and today's standoff is sponsored by Colt. <laughs> He's flipping his gun in his hand. Where we make peace by putting a piece in you. <laughs> that one's called Copernicus. <laughs> Silly girl. It's Copernicus. <laughs> the argument is so fascinating. They're quite knowledgeable. I used to have a telescope. It's kind of cool. I always like my microscope better than a telescope. I make you see my telescope. All right, jeez. Fuck off. Fuck That's, off. Everybody's different. Fuck off. <laughs> You've read Jules Verne. Oh my god. So I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, his eyes got crazy. <laughs> He's like, so do I. I never met a woman like Jules Verne. Now let me show you my jewels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, here they go. Come on. Oh. Wow. Oh, and a shooting star. And a shooting star. I got chills. Oh, Doc. You sly dog. I'm just out enjoying the morning air. No, I'm sure <laughs> you are. Yes, yeah, lovely Doc. This is no walk of shame for him. No. This is a walk of fame for him. Yeah. <laughs> My name is vanished. Hey, that's great, Doc. Well, then who fucking died? That's where we're about to. That's Monday decides it. <laughs> <laughs> the tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. It may be yours. You heard what that son of a bitch caught me last night? Yeah. Oh. That's exactly what causes you to get into that accident in the future. <laughs> what about my future? I can't tell you. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute, Doc. I told you. Yeah. You all have to make decisions that affect the course of our lives. You've got to yeah. do what you've got to do. No, <laughs> you don't tell me what my future is. Bro, I just saved your life. And and I told you what's gonna happen, and you're gonna you know, tell you're, me that <laughs> you're just like you know you're supposed to be the one dying tomorrow, right? <laughs> I'm the one has to go up against this man, and you're telling me now I can't know my future. I'm not going with you tomorrow. I'm staying here. You ungrateful piece of shit! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Come here! <laughs> just starts crying. I'm in love with Clara. Oh man. Okay, hold on now. You definitely have chemistry. This tombstone could still be in your future. The future isn't written. It can be changed. You know that. A little photograph determined my entire destiny. I'd be like, fuck it. Just I have to live my life according to what I believe is right. <laughs> in my heart. You hypocrite! You hypocrite! <laughs> <laughs> he just... What's the right thing to do? Up here. Maybe we can just take Clara with us. Yeah, there you go. You've already fucked around enough. Might as well. No, fuck it. no, Cameron. No, what the Screw fuck it. is wrong with you? <laughs> Screw it at this point. <laughs> this, this man really was like, I can't let a picture decide my fate, but I can't tell you your future. But I'm going to change mine. <laughs> we shall proceed as planned, and as soon as we return to 1985, we'll destroy this infernal machine. Traveling through time has become much too painful. Aw, I feel ya. Good segment, Clara. Yeah, what do you say to someone in this situation? Don't go near the ravine! I've come to say goodbye. Aw. I have to go back where I came from. Imagine she drops the bomb. Like, the bomb. <laughs> like a nuclear bomb on them? No, like... <laughs> like what? No, like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, that fucking oh. bomb. <laughs> I'll never forget you. I love you. Well, that's a little soon. Please, Emmett, please. I have to know. If, if you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. Yeah, go for it. At this point, everything's fucked. You're going to come home. A black hole's going to spawn. There's no getting out of here. I'm in the time machine that I invented. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Whatever. Just, yeah, fuck it. 1985. She's gonna be like, fine, don't tell me the truth. I knew that all men are liars. <laughs> what? Do you understand? Oh, wow. Oh. You concocted those mendacities in order to take advantage of me. Oh, gosh. All you had to say is I don't love you and I don't want to see you anymore. That at least would have been respectful. Damn. Marty! <laughs> <laughs> so, Doc, how'd it go? It went as well as you would think it did, Marty. He <laughs> open the fucking door. Where are you, Marty? You <laughs> <fucking> Come here. <laughs> oh. And you can leave the box. Oh. Damn. What time is it, Marty? Are you late for your standoff? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Fucking ow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got the way. There's nothing left for me here. All right, but that's why you gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
I think man... for a second there he contemplated saying fuck you. <laughs> you know, come here. <laughs> Damn it, no! What? How long was he standing there then with just that glass in his hand? Since last night? Oh. Damn. Oh my God. <laughs> come on, Doc. Wake up. He had to have been standing there like like seven hours. It's like it was nighttime when he saw Clara. I'll take a one-way ticket. You're gonna get a one-way ticket to fucking Clara Ravine if you fucking yeah. get on that train. <laughs> Let's make some wake-up juice. What the entire? Is that olives? What in? Ten minutes. That's like when you're a kid, you're making potions outside. Yeah. Just... All you need is the there you fucking go. Well, it worked. <laughs> oh, it's just hydrochloric, <laughs> it's just hydrochloric acid. He's just like... That was just a reflex action. Oh. Are you an Aries one? It's time. Okay, phew, it's not you. Ooh. No, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It is. Oh, it's just, it's not you, Marty. Clint Eastwood dies, apparently. Whatever <laughs> that is. <laughs> I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Why don't you just shoot him right now? Run! I got. <laughs> what if I don't go out there? You're a coward. The biggest yellow belly in the West. Ooh. That's 10, you gutless yellow pie slinger. He's an asshole. <laughs> oh oh good morning okay here we go what year is it <laughs> Just... listen you got a back door to this place hey, I really... oh he finally learned to let that go jeez he didn't know how he could live the rest of his life knowing how much hurt he caused that little girl i really felt for him. i did right here well, there you go, Claire. See? Was this man tall with great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair? Well, it's more like white hair, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's oh. too much power to give. Do you know how pissed off I would be? Customer. I'd yeah. be like... <laughs> Prepare to meet your makeup, Lexman. Right here, Tannen. All right, come on, let's see it. We've all been waiting for. Bro, I would never be this close to a standoff. Right? <laughs> I don't know how good their shots are. <laughs> Bro! No! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Marty? Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> I think I know what he did. I oh, hope what, a, I hope I'm correct. A bulletproof vest or something? Well, there was a black piece of like the furnace that fell off when he when he went crashing into that building, and I'm wondering oh. if he put it on like underneath his chest. Oh yeah, he's definitely packing under there. That had to have hurt so bad. <laughs> we doggy. <laughs> yep, yep. Ow. You're right. Oh my god! Could you imagine? He goes for a headshot. Nice. Damn. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Of course, every tannin's got to end up in a pile of manure at some point. <laughs> you got anything to say? That's uh, vile. That's <laughs> disgusting. They didn't need to do that. They didn't. Here's your gun, mister. Thanks, kid. Oh, shit. My bad. Shit. 
<laughs> Miss Pine takes somebody out. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Gotta love that score. I know, right? It's classic. Oh, come on, you know you can't reach it yet. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> what did you think you were about to reach? Come on. Oh, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, there you go. Come on. Just if I Just come on. Hey, there you go. His foot gets caught on the saddle. This must have been so fun to shoot. Oh, yeah. Come on, Just don't breathe in the smoke, please. Yeah, for real. It's like instant lung cancer. That the train, didn't you say that the train couldn't be pulling anything else? Yeah, the guy was like, yeah, it's guy. It shouldn't be pulling any other carts. They got to un unconnect the train. Is this a hold up? It's a science experiment. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, okay. I thought they were gonna do it all in motion. Yeah. Uncouple the cars for the tender. Yep. Exactly. Yep. There it is. I okay, Doc. <laughs> I get it, but this is very fucking serious right now. We have our lives are on the line. We might die. <laughs> well, now it doesn't matter if the train fucking falls in the ravine. I mean, it's the poor guy's not gonna have a job, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What are these things anyway? Chemically treated to burn harder and longer. How does she come into play here? She like dives onto the car, teleports with it. <laughs> you fucking... They come out, her hair is blown out like <laughs> to the sides behind her. <laughs> so yeah, is the train coming with them? Because like, how is Doc gonna get in the in the car? <laughs> Maybe one at a time? Jeez. You're throwing all three in there. Green, yellow, and red. That horse is not going to catch up to that train if she doesn't catch up now. Uh, if it doesn't catch it now, it's over. Hopefully we'll hit oh. 88 miles per hour before the needle gets bust past 2,000. What happens after it hits 2,000? The whole boiler explodes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the thing that, Yeah, the boiler. The thing that's in front of the train and behind you. So we both go down. Gosh. That's the fucking. You saw the green smoke. That that's pure like. <laughs> that will kill you. Like if you breathe it. Oh damn. Oh, she's going through it right now. Now it's yellow. All right, they're picking up speed. Bro, you gotta move faster than this. You've gotta move faster than this. Bro. She really wants to talk to Doc for a second. <laughs> what is she gonna do? If she tries to stop this train, I will oh have a, I will have a panic attack. Hey, there you go. Evan! I love you. <laughs> Now's not really the time. <laughs> Perfect. Bring her with you. Oh. oh my gosh, my anxiety is going through the freaking roof. Time out here to me! I don't know if I can! Just don't <laughs> go! Motherfucker! What the fuck Clara, did I just tell you? Clara, you quite literally die if you don't get off this train. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Oh my god, please. Anxiety couldn't get any higher. Now it's fucking in the danger zone. Bro, she... oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Come on. What? Hurry!
Oh. Bro, if he yes. missed that. What a catch. Whew. Still not out of the woods yet, Marty. Relax. Oh my gosh. That's, it's too late. They're too, it's too late. The, the track is... <laughs> oh! Hey! Okay. Okay, Doc. Oh, um, how fast, how fast can it, how fast can this hoverboard be? Oh, wait. oh, he's going off? He's not gonna go with him? Okay. I guess it's gotta Stick be by yourself, to the Marty. fucking plan, <laughs> Doc. Ooh. Yeah, that train is not stopping. Man, you better hope there's not was, a fucking squirrel down there. So that was it. how the largest forest fire of 1885 or me, ever started. Wow. Eastwood Ravine. Odds, you get it? Because uh, he now is a Good old Clint. This is what I was saying! What happens if the train is coming and you're on the track? Oh, and now it's destroyed. Yep. Like Doc There's said. That. that gave me chills. Dude, trains cool are just trains are just powerhouse vehicles. Yeah, they just hit a, anything and don't what, stop. What a cool way to like like there's no going back now. It's destroyed, yeah. you know. Oh, it's kind of sad though when you think about it. It is. I would take that with me, though, as a little memento. Yeah, you got to take something. Well, Doc, it's destroyed. Yep. How are you going to explain this outfit to your family <laughs> as you walk in? <laughs> hey, butthead, get away. Watch your bit 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Jennifer. Yep. Marty, what are you wearing? You'll never believe what just happened. <laughs> Is that the best outfit to be waking her up in? No, that's not. You can't do that. Okay, you're Sleeping Beauty. Went well. I had the worst nightmare. <laughs> I had the worst fucking. Last <laughs> week, my worst week. Like, what week? Are you, like, yeah, I don't even. <laughs> I got shot. <laughs> Marty, it was a dream, wasn't it? Absolutely. There's not much left. Doc's never coming back. Should probably do those pieces before, like, the government gets their hands on it. <laughs> They're like, yeah, and they re <laughs> they recreate this. Oh, 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 where's the other half? I'm sure gonna miss him, Jen. There's no way, right? Like... Well, how? What if we just see it? Oh no, we just see another Marty come in or another Doc. Oh, oh damn! Oh, he took a he did he rigged up the train. That is a fly. Oh, that's a dope train. train. Look at that. I would take that train anywhere I need to go. <laughs> Marty! Doc! Claire's got to be in there, right? Oh, there she is. Meet the family. How are you know? Hi, Marty. Does he have kids? These are our boys! Oh! Jules! Oh! And Vern! Oh! And Vern's got an attitude! Vern's like... <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh! I oh, no. A little souvenir. Oh. But how'd they get Einstein? I... <laughs> I'm done asking questions. <laughs> Anything's possible. Aww. Aww. I brought this note back from the future and now it's no, a no. race. Of course oh. it's a race. Your future hasn't been written yet. Hey. Your future is whatever you make it. There you go. Both of you. Yeah. Chills. This movie's been giving me so much chills. Yeah. All right, boys, buckle up. 
Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. Wherever he wants. Back to the future! Already in there! But where, dog? Where? It can fly? What? <laughs> that thing's a transformer. That thing's gonna turn into <laughs> like a transformer. Have a train train over here. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to see if there's any post credit scenes. And if there are, here they are. Okay. That was our reaction to Back to the Future Part. What an amazing way to end off the trilogy. Man, in my opinion, they stuck the landing. I thought this was so fun it matched mm -hmm. the fun tone of uh it had the same tone as the first two pretty much like the same fun quirky uh, dynamics uh you know character dynamics fun quirky situation and i just thought they they executed everything very very well i really enjoyed this i know for a fact i like this one more than the second one i mm -hmm. don't know yet if i like it more than the first one but I oh, okay. definitely think that I, or I definitely know that I was extremely satisfied by this last movie in the trilogy. And I can see why this trilogy was recommended by so many people, why they tell you you got to watch all three, and why it's considered such a classic and why people love this. I, I thought that, that it was just so like wholesome and happy and fun and just a, 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 just a, uh, a great uh, cap to, to the trilogy. Overall, great film funny moments the acting was good on par with the others and it was uh well directed of course it was the same director for all three i believe and i just love that they stayed true to the characters to the consistency and one of the big things that i really appreciated about this one as opposed to the other two is while they did find themselves in hijinks and whatnot in the other two i thought in this one it was really cool to see more of a reckless or careless side of of how to treat time travel you know love guy mm -hmm. in the way um things like that like at, at this point they were like whatever you know emotions you know definitely i felt like were more in play with this one but it was really cool to see how it got to the point where they're like whatever You're like we you know we got to fix it we got to fix and something happens something mm -hmm. happens and and whatnot i just i thought it was uh i felt like it was more careless than the other two and it was really cool to see that side of them and lastly i will say uh before i pass it off to you that i thought it was really really cool and i was really satisfied and maybe i just don't remember the other two as well uh but i do believe that we got a lot more doc in this one and i thought it was really really cool to see more of doc and to dive more into doc and i was extremely satisfied with that and i thought that the way that they um were able to bring it to a close by saying there's no way that marty's going to be able to travel through time again but there's always doc out there and he might come mm -hmm. back for another adventure sometime overall great great film i loved it zay what were your thoughts yeah, the first two, I think, I think definitely did have as much Doc as this one. This one, it felt more about, I mean, it really was about Doc, about getting Doc, trying to get Doc back home. Um, yeah, awesome movie, absolutely a fucking blast. Um, I will say um, I enjoyed the story, like the plot of this a lot too, as well, especially like you said, like had like how they kind of got careless almost like it was almost like a mix of like carelessness and being like we, we've we've been through this before we've been through like the time travel we know what the repercussions are like but at this point we need to, to figure this out like once and for all um man it was uh <laughs> it, i definitely think i enjoyed this as well better than two i think i like this one better than two i wouldn't say i enjoyed it more than one i think one still has the classic spot for me mm -hmm. um but this this movie was just awesome. I I love just us being like Wow Wow West. I love I mean, <laughs> the pimped out <laughs> the pimped out DeLorean train at the very end. You know, again to see Doc has kids at the end, and it was just how the series is all the the trilogy as a whole is just it, it's just so 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 well done. And I uh, we now we watch these obviously with some time in between them. I can only imagine how nice it would like how smooth it is if you watch them like 
like back back to back to back because it, it's pro like the story and the plot and everything fits so well um they found themselves in some hijinks there were some funny funny parts um but i like that they were able to tie in like a real like emotional like story to it with doc finding a true love and everything and going through all those emotions as well um try <laughs> and also seeing him be the biggest hypocrite <laughs> <laughs> ever, I've ever seen. I mean, yeah, like I mean, Cam already said it, but I will say, yeah, hundred percent, absolute blast. Whole again, I enjoyed every single one of these movies, but I would say for me, the order of for me is one, three, and then two, in enjoyment. Yeah, I would probably have to say that as well, and I think number one has the um the advantage of novelty as in mm -hmm. you know it's the first time they're time traveling it's all this it's the first introduction we get to them it's like that's just that classic story but mm -hmm. it, 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 so we're kind of familiar with all that going into number three but i thought number three did a really really good job at not only tying everything up and ending the story and 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 like the first two, they leave you like, okay, well, wh what's going to happen next? This third one, I'm like, my stomach is full. I'm satisfied mm -hmm. by my meal. I don't need any more uh, in, in a good way. And like they, they, I felt like I read a book from beginning to end and it was a complete story that doesn't leave you hanging, wanting, like that doesn't like leave you hanging for more. Um, of course, more stories would always be welcome, but I felt satisfied from beginning to end. And and there was a yeah. lot of responsibility on this third movie to have to do that. And I think that they did it very well. I Yeah. yeah well, I was, I was going to, and also I'll agree with you on that point too, because I mean, also with just like the creative team on it, it was smart of them to tie it up here. Because this is the type of, of the trilogy, even the way they ended it, they ended it the way they ended the first one. But this is a type of, type of movie series where like you they could have been like oh we'll do we'll do a four now because sure. the way the ending is it leaves it really like if you wanted to you could say like oh you could do another one because the delorean's still there so it's i'm glad i am satiated with what they did i'm glad that they were that they were like three this is how it's going to be and it was it was very good tie-in with you know doc on his own path now in his own with his in his own life with his wife clara and his kids and marty um obviously with jennifer and kind of like we kind of know where his story leads and we got left off knowing like oh, doc's on, on his way to have a good life as well yeah i think also what they did was they i think the set design was great they really captured like the feel of the wild wild west in a you know fun quirky type of way and i thought the villain was i i felt like he was not like he was, I wouldn't say more, I don't know if I would say more compelling, but he was more like, he wasn't like annoyingly obstructing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he was, he was there when he needed to be, he helped move the plot forward and he mm -hmm. wasn't like absolutely bonkers ridiculous. Like they, like, so I thought that that it was uh, a little better. There weren't any, you know, one of the problems I think we had with number two was that there were a couple moments where it's like, okay, really? Like, your music's going on and you don't hear him attached right. to your car? Like, there, right. I wouldn't say plot holes, but just, like, conveniences. And I feel like this yeah. film really did a good job at kind of not having any of those. So I yeah. thought it, re it did a really good job at um, set design, um, you know, story, and, and keeping everything relatively consistent and not, like, over conveniences or anything like that. And then I, I also want to say that... Um, Again, I, I, I can't. I you got it. There's a lot of movies out there that have sequels, and the studio wants to change things up, or they want to do this, they want to do that, and, they, uh, and uh, an awful lot of the time, the second one is horrible, or the third one is horrible, or it's just a completely different tone. And all three of these movies had had extreme consistency in tone and style, and I, I you got to commend them for that. A hundred percent. Yeah, couldn't agree with you more on that. All right. Any final thoughts before we get into the rating? um no man just thank you guys if you stuck along for the whole uh trilogy and uh yeah absolutely blast absolute blast 
yeah, it was awesome to go through this journey with you guys. So thanks again for being here. Let's get into the rating. Now, just so you guys know, uh, we don't give out zeros. We don't give out tens because if we give out a zero, it means that nothing will ever be worse than it. And if you give out a 10, it means nothing will ever be better than it. Uh, we do do decimals like 9.99 and so on. Five is average. Six is good. Seven is great. Eight is beyond great. Nine is top tier cinema. Now, I will say, I'll go first. I will say I don't remember what I rated the first. Oh, um, and I know for me personally, uh, I think the first is above this one. But I go back and forth uh, between the two right now. I would have to remember everything from the first. And potentially my number for the first could be higher now that we've seen even more films, you know, uh our ratings aren't always set in stone. Sometimes we talk mm -hmm. about how, oh man, we had recency bias or, oh man, uh, we talk like when, you know, when we're talking to each other, we're like, oh man, uh, I wish maybe we didn't rate this that way. Um, but that's how we felt in the current moment. And uh, of course, it's always subject to change because ratings are sub subjective. And of course, we're experiencing more films as we go through this reaction journey. And that can change the way we perceive things. So again, I'm not exactly sure what I rated the first one, but I'm going to give this one an 8.4. Whatever okay. I rated the first one probably would, would change it to about an 8.5 now that I'm having this at an 8.4 because I think this was very, very, um, a very small amount, uh, less than the first in my head right now, uh, but, but mm -hmm. very little, very close. So overall, uh, a, a great, fun movie i thought the shots that they had the action that they had was was really cool um i think that the i think that probably my only nitpick with it was it did feel person like i know i complimented on having the same tone and style as the other two mm -hmm. but it did feel almost like um formulaic to the other two i right. guess you could say whereas like the ending was we got to get up to speed we got to uh fix this and you know we got to um you know and, and it's a big kind of climactic event where they're racing against time to get it done right um oh i both appreciate it and also feel like maybe there could have been a difference there so uh that's probably like a minor nitpick of course they could have mm -hmm. gone a different way and it could have been worse uh, but I felt like maybe there were a few more risks that they could have taken. And, okay. um, and you know, overall, uh, you know, of course, there are smaller nitpicks here and there as well. But overall, I give about an 8.4. So I thought it was beyond great. Zay, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so I would have given it, I'll probably give it like an 8.25. I think I gave the first one 8.5, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, I hope I think, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. But um, I will. I do agree with you on that. Um, I did kind of get dragged into a lull at one point during the reaction because it's like it's it's. I again, I appreciate it, but also it's like it is formulaic to some point. We you got Marty traveling to you got Marty traveling to the time, then all of a sudden he has a Biff that he has to deal with, and you know he has the doc, and the doc has a, sh a shop, and it's like, and you almost appreciate because like they're able to put like little twists on like twists on biff's character like he's just western robber dude that's like you know what like commits these uh, commits all these crimes and there's like there's little tweaks that they did which it gave it its own it gave its its own like um like sense of style in it by still but still kind of sticking to the idea of the first two or like the similar setup um but i did agree with your sentiment on that and that's probably why i couldn't rate it higher is you know it, we've you it's like i've seen it before i already see i saw it in the last two movies but i still appreciate it because you know that's the idea that they're going with that's what it is the delorean has to get to the speed it has to do this they're always racing against something so it's like it's like it's a give and take it's like okay it's like if you're gonna stick with this formula because it's work it's not broke don't fix it right. but understand that you could probably lose people that might not have enjoyed watching that but Overall, still a blast um, and absolutely a great movie. And I, I, some of the shots were awesome. Um, I love the shots with all the with the Native Americans riding behind them on horseback. Yeah, you um, then you had the cowboys riding on horseback. Um, the bear just randomly was <laughs> just the bear for a little bit. Um, just stuff like that. So there was it, it was very unique. The movie was very unique, even though it stuck to a formula. It still had its own flair to it, which I appreciated. 
Yeah, overall, a really, really, really fun experience. Um, uh, just for funsies, I give the whole trilogy about an 8.5. Uh, I'll put it. I'll put the whole trilogy yeah. there together at an 8.5. That might not be the average of the scores I gave each film, mm -hmm. but like as a trilogy, staying consistent, staying all that kind of stuff. Uh, if I would rate that, it'd probably be an 8.5. I thought the trilogy was, was great. I would recommend it to people that haven't seen it before. It's a very fun experience, and um, yeah. Any uh, any final thoughts? um no man once again appreciate you guys if you stuck around for all three of the movies um we appreciate the love and support guys and can't wait to get into our next reaction yeah all right well with that being said thank you guys again for being here thank you for the the support zay i know you have a twitch yes i do my twitch will be linked down in the, in the description below feel free to tune in come say hi we've actually had a bunch of people from youtube now coming over to the twitch um so feel free to stop by we're always chit chatting in there cam and i are in there playing different games we're having full-blown conversations with people about movies shows reactions that we might do etc cetera, etc cetera. so um it's always a good time um feel free to tune in and uh yeah yeah check it out guys it's a great time it's fun to have you there and with that being said great scott it's time for the end of the trilogies or the trilogy and uh Zay, you know what we got to do now, right? What? We got to go back to the future!